Alright, so hypothesis testing for a small lambda poisson. So I have already written down an example. So this example is that no hypothesis is that lambda equals to 4.5 and the alternative hypothesis is that lambda has decreased. And we have to test at a significance level of 5% whether the claim is right or wrong. So since it's lambda, since the lambda has decreased, the, no, the alternative hypothesis is that lambda has decreased. We know that the rejection region is on the left-hand side. It's on, so what we need to do is we need to find our actual significance level, like we used to do for binomial for, for small sample binomial. And I have to find the sum of probabilities such the two. Of, uh, I have to come as close to my stated significance level that is five percent, such that when I add the probability of the next bar, it tips me over five percent. So I'll capture the probability of zero. This is zero point zero one one. I'll calculate my probability of 1. This turns out to be 0 0.499. So it's pretty evident that if, if I add these two probabilities, to, um, the sum will be greater than 5%. So uh, I know that my critical region is basically this part. So this is my critical region that is simply 0. So x less than 1, I can simply say that x equals to 0 or x less than 1 is my critical region. So any observed value that is uh, above 0, that is basically over here. So uh, then I will accept my null hypothesis that lambda has not, uh, has not decreased, right? But if my observed value is 0, uh, I'd say that my, the, I reject the null hypothesis and I will accept that we have evidence to prove that our, that our mean or at lambda has decreased. So this is when your critical region is on the left hand side that is your null alternative hypothesis is that lambda has decreased. But what about uh, if the question is that your lambda has increased? For that we'll move to another example. Over here uh, the null hypothesis is lambda equals to 6 and the alternative hypothesis is lambda is greater than 6. So that means uh, that my rejection region is on the right hand side, it's not on the left hand side. So when we were solving this, use, when we were uh, so carrying out a test for a small sample binomial um, and if the rejection region was on the right hand side, we would take the uh, right rightwards extreme values and calculate the probabilities and come as close to our significance level. But the problem with Poisson is that it's an infin it, it can go all the way to positive infinity. It's an infinite distribution. So the key here is you calculate the probabilities all the way to your 2.95% in this case. So I've already calculated the probabilities from 0 to 9 and that turns out to be 0.916. That is still not 0.95% right so my the rejection region needs to come close come as close to the stated significance level that is 5% so if i add the uh, if i uh, sum all the probabilities of the of my rejection region of my critical region it needs to come as close to 5% such that when i add, add the next bar it tips me over 5% so if i calculate the probability of the 10th bar that is x equals to 10 this is 0. 413 so this actually sorry it's 0 0.0413 yeah so it actually tips me over 0. Point, this will be 0 0.9573 so i am uh, above a point 0.95 so that means k from 0 to 10 I cover more than 95 percent right so from 11 onwards it's basically less than 5 percent it's it's as close to the stated significance level that if I add the 10th if I add the probability of x equals to 10 it will be above 5 percent so I can safely say that prob x greater than equals to 11 is my critical region so if my observed value lies beyond 11, inclusive of 11, if, if um, I will reject null hypothesis that uh, the lambda has in indeed increased. But if my 
uh, observed value lies between 0 and 10, I will accept uh, the null hypothesis. So that's how you calculate your uh, you calculate, uh, uh, you calculate, you figure out your critical region and then you carry out the test. So for errors, so for errors, type 1 is basically your actual significance level. So uh, in the, in uh, in the question where my uh, re rejection region was on the right hand side, was on the left hand side, it's basically this. This is my point zero zero point zero one 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 is my um, probability of type one error. But over here, it's basically these pr probabilities eleven onwards, all the way to positive infinity. So the way to figure out uh, the your type one error when your rejection region is on the right hand side is basically one minus probability of x greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 10. So if I capture the probabilities from 0 to 10 and I subtract them from 1, I will find my actual significance level and that is my probability of type 1 error. For type 2, it's basically your acceptance region with the new lambda that will be given in the question. So it's basically probability of uh, 0 to 10 with the new lambda so it's basically zero uh, zero to two it's basically your white part your acceptance region with the new lambda uh, and over here it's basically x squared then equals to 1 with the new lambda so that was your calculation for the type 2 error for type 1 it's your actual significance level for type 2 it's your acceptance region with the uh, new lambda so that's it uh, about how to carry out a test uh, for a small lambda poisson.